Hello and welcome! Today we will make a cosplay based on the new Cyberpunk 2077 that will steal my husband for the next two months or so. Let's start this, shall we? But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments in what other sewing shenanigans you would like me to partake next. I love a crazy sewing challenge. I know absolutely nothing about this game. Steve tried to explain it to me. I even have this wonderful book to get inspired. But of course, the costume that I want to recreate is not in here. He read everything about the story and he's a happy person now. As a very nice wife that I am, I just like to be supportive of his dreams. I'm recreating Juanita's outfit, if I got her name right, I think it is, because I just love the colors! Haha, <laughs> hopefully it will all work out just fine. The materials! As usual, I ordered everything online and every time materials arrive in this house, it's a very exciting day for all of us. It's like Christmas. Look at this beautiful yellow. It has a really weird smell. Plasticky. This is the blue for underneath. And inside the blue is the pink. Oh, it says neon. <gasps> Camera does not show how neon pink this is. Oh my god, this is neon. Radioactive pink. So pink. It's so radioactive. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with this pink! Line foam for padding the leather, a very smooth charmeuse in pink for the lining, then metal zippers in various sizes, a can of pink spray paint to work on the shoes, and of course, LED strip for the bra. Very exciting! The pattern! The pattern for the jacket is completely asymmetric. For the back, I shaved the shoulder dart and transformed the waist dart into a princess seam to the middle of the back armhole. The neckline is shoulder free on one of the sides. It's pretty simple. On the front, you need to move all your darts to the high figure point and dump them all to the armhole dart. That's the only dart we are going to keep. The front is crossed to the other side. So to make sure we cut the right neckline, add the other side of the pattern to the center front and remove the waist dart there as well. Draw the neckline you want and add a triangle on the outside to create a collar later on. This is a one piece and I think the opening is here so she can get in But I'm not gonna do that because I might want to wear this jacket somewhere It's so pretty So I'm making panties and a jacket separate In order to avoid another meltdown dress situation I bought the pattern for the bustier topside on Etsy According to their measurements I'm a triple D But they only have double D cups I still think it's going to be too big There's a mistake on the pattern These don't matter Match. It's assembled as it should. Haha, <laughs> well, I have to tweak it anyways. Look at the size of this cup. I'm not a double D. Well, I will sew this and test it out. It fits pretty well. Apparently, I'm a double D. Who knew? It's very pretty. And I don't even need to change much. I just need to make this part a little smaller to fit what is going on over there. So I slapped it on Sven. Hello, Sven. To make this directly on the doll. It looks weird because this doll doesn't have my measurements, but I tried this on and it looks good. So now I just need to take it apart again and make a flat pattern out of this. For the pants, I only retrace a vintage bathing suit I had, adding some ease to it because leather does not stretch, as I found out. And after 100,000 mocks, I found the shape I wanted. The leather work. I don't have a gauge and I don't feel like buying one so I will use a bent bra wire because I hate bra wires. None of my bras have wire even though the ones I buy with wires. So I'll just attach this here so I have always the same distance between the squiggly lines. Isn't that beautiful? Give your love to a cowboy man. He's gonna love you as hard as he can. This is 
so satisfying. Although my lines are all squiggly, but no one can see that unless they go like, look at this! I like it. Now just no 100,000 panels to go. one singular piece of leather without side seams and with a closure on the back. If some violent camel tilt troubleshooting is necessary, just remove a little bit of material from the crotch area. The line was then added right side facing and I overstitched the waist and leg edges for a beautiful finish. Preparação. 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 Preparo. Modo do preparo. Ah, preparo. Ok. Coloque o conteúdo do pacote em uma vizinha de canilis vegro. Tananu. 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 Bist du sicher? Tananu. Nein. Tananu. Das Wort gibt's nicht. D-A-N-A-N-H-O. Das gibt's nicht. Tamanho? Medio e S. Place the contents of a pocket in the medium sized bowl and add one half of water. Mix well until all liquid is absorbed. Trash the dough for about three minutes. Is this off English? Yeah. Isso é bom a ter o tudo o liquido seja absorvido. Seja absorvido. Seja absorvido. Sabe a massa por aproximadamente aproximadamente três minutos. O até que fique lisa e com Homogênea. 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 Faça bolinhas e colocas em uma assadeira, deixando espaço entre elas para que não grudem. Quer dizer que não grudem? Ou seja, não grudem, não grudem. Reacuiça o forno a 180 graus por 10 minutos. Assa assim os pás de queijo mais da mesma temperatura por aproximadamente 40 minutos. I was stupid and I forgot to insert the zippers that go in the front, so now I have to do it now. Ah, what the hell? But he has a he has a pocket already on the side. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Perfect. Fine. One eternity later. I tried putting the zipper directly to these slits here and it didn't work out. It didn't look good. I will just make a border for the zipper and I will apply it here as an applique because I don't feel like breaking my fingers again. We need a zipper to access your crotch anyways. I will sew this here. Sewing straight lines is not my forte but this is ridiculous. I had to redo it, of course. Mediocre. Better, but still mediocre. Now I will attach it. Mediocre fake zipper installation. Yay! The back zipper. This will be fun. Back zipper installed. The jacket. First, add the padding foam to the bustier pieces and cut the excess. I assembled a complete boot plate to check the size and then I changed everything to a B cup because the leather thing was humongous. Before cutting the squared leather, I suggest you trace the pattern on the piece and stay stitch the contours so your beautiful squiggly lines don't come undone. Damn, all pieces are now cut and I will assemble everything before I cut this part up to the sleeve. No, this part up to the sleeve. No, this part up to the sleeve. That's right. Sew all pieces right sides facing and overstitch all seams for a pretty finish. On the other front panel, not the boot plate, the other side, first install the zipper onto the armhole dart and be careful not to go insane over this almost impossible task like I did. Now I can mark this and cut it off. The mental breakdown! Hello, what are you doing? Yes, I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm gonna cut it off. Are you gonna go bald? 
No, not bald, but I will cut everything with Does Steve know? Is he gonna freak out? He's probably gonna freak out. Like I mentioned. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat right now wondering what, how this haircut's gonna go. Let's do this together. Alright, where's my scissors? It must be so heavy. It is. It is. I have hair for four people. When you do this, how much of a fist can you make? Like this. That's a lot of hair. Yeah. I don't miss those things. No, not the whole ponytail, just pull it to the front and I cut this part so it's not so straight. This is suspenseful. It took, I think, around six inches off. I went to the doctor and she weighed me in and then she said, Oh, you're not fat, but you're on the stronger side. I said, yeah, thank you, that's really nice of you. I think what she meant is that I should take care to not put on more weight. But I like to snack. Me too. The thing is, I, I love eating and I hate moving. <laughs> so how are you feeling about this? Okay, I think it's all crooked and weird, but it will be fine in a few days. <laughs> totally. Ow! I have to stop brushing the front part. Ow! It's short. I still have the front to cut. Do you feel it? Are you vibing? so much that you get dizzy and fall over. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And this is the length. Whoa. <laughs> Are you gonna do something with it? You should do something with it. What should, should I do with it? With your hair. You should yeah. do a video of crafting with your hair. Crafting with my hair. Can you see the back? Yes, I can see it. it looks pretty. It's it's definitely uneven, but yeah, you know, it'll get sorted. I'm a poodle. I'm not mad at this at all, but it will take some getting used to. And this is how I cut my hair at home every five years or so. And so... Do you notice anything different about me? Uh, I'm it's a puff kiss. It's a very fluffy sushi. The sewing machine conundrum. I think I reached the limits of what I can sew with the Rolls Royce because, for example, I cannot reach the end of the zipper to close all the way. And for me to install this sleeve, it will be a nightmare. But this thing here, this is a leather sewing machine that I bought when I never opened it. So let's unbox this. The only reason I didn't unbox this before is because I know there is a lot of work to do on the machine and this will take a while. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Mmm, delicious. Ew. Oi, it stinks. Oi, oi. Okay, I want gloves. Thread. Perfect. Ew, no. This is so heavy. It's a hand crank machine. It's already rusty, but it could be because I left it in box for so long. <laughs> Don't eat it, it has cancer now. If there is no kaza noise when turning the leading plate, it shows that the machine can be used. What is a kaza noise? Why is this so complicated? What is this screw for? One thing I know about the machine is that these feet are very unstable and I know I will need a new base, but I just want to check how bad it really is. It looks bad though. Back to my gloves. Let's turn it now. It's not gonna work. This doesn't look right. Why is it, why is it so, why is it facing down? But there it is, my leather sewing machine. Whoa. Disappointed. The bobbing and the casing are attached to the machine like this. Why? I need to figure out a way to make that machine work because I will never be able to install the sleeve using my normal machine. So let's go downstairs and see what I have to use. I'm gonna take one of these. This thing is a little dull. Hey! There go my sport for the year. <laughs> At least it's going in. Can I break it? Yes! 
I'll just send this down. Beautifully stupid. So much work for this. Well, if you didn't know before, I'm the queen of getting sidetracked. Okay. Steve helped me putting this on the base and now it's very sturdy. It's just this thing, I figured out what it is. It's the thing for the bobbin. I'll try to clean this up as much as I can. What can I do? What do I have? A little bit soapy water and a toothbrush. This is really disgusting. Some of the screws are not as flush as they should be. Like this one here, for example. But it's not that bad. It's not that I'm gonna get hurt on an edge or something. I'll try to file this one down. It's amazing how rusty it got. Even though I should be allowed to be stored for this long, right? Mine didn't come with a rod for threading this part. So I have to improvise. I have this wire. <sighs> Maybe. It worked. I don't think the tension will be correct. The wheel will not turn anymore. Something is pinching the thread in here and I can't seem to shake it off. Another eternity later. I fixed it, but I'm not going to show it. It went somewhat like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, so we're fine. And now I can sew the sleeve in, hopefully. <sighs> I have the feeling I calculated the sleeve wrong, but I will do this anyway, so let's see. I'm so excited. Whoa, the wheel came off. Oh my God, get in there. Maybe now it will stay in place. <sighs> It fits! Perfect sleeve fitting! Let's see how it looks on the outside now. I love it. Oh my god, I'm so happy. There is one part I need to troubleshoot and it's of course the boob plate because it's kind of missing a part here so my boob would be outside. So now I need to add a panel here which is not that wild. I've never sewn with leather before. It doesn't stretch at all though. Yeah, it's weird. This edit panel was free-handed. I just followed the lines I already had. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> well, I need that but like this. When you're stupid, you end up doing stupid shit. Part of the program. Especially if you're me. Now it's good. <laughs> Attach the Now the inside of this part. It's the third time I cut this collar and I can't do it anymore. But I think now I have it. Ugh. This is definitely not the way to do it, but I don't care anymore. This looks ridiculous, but I think it will work out. And I'm bleeding all over the place. So this and try not to pinch my fingers any further. Three or five bleeding spots on my fingers right now. I am not a gamer, far from that. My fingers never obey me and I always die all the time. Even Mario is a challenge for me and you only have to press two buttons. But I love watching other people play, especially when there is a cool story behind, like The Witcher or Skyrim. Even GTA is very amusing from the story side of things. For me, it's like watching a 40 to 60 hour movie and the costumes are amazing. So far, I understood from Cyberpunk 2077. You play as a person named V and they apparently have the key to immortality or something, so of course all of the bad guys are after them. The fact that your fashion choices play a key role in the game is the thing that interests me the most, obviously, and I can't wait to see the different story archers that will develop from your fashion choices. Does that mean that Steve will have to play this video game at least four times? <laughs> Naturally. According to my extensive research, there are four main different styles in the game. There is the kitsch people with, with all the neon and fluorescent details, not carrying much reflection, just pretty much all of my creations, I guess. They rather look pretty than to be able to sit down, and I am totally down for that. Entropism is the complete opposite of that. It's all about the comfort and function, being the clothes of the people who could not make a living in Night City. They literally cannot afford this modern world they are living in, so everything is pretty basic. It's not ugly, it's just simple and basic. 
leisure clothing. Then there is the new militarism, that is the style of the rich and powerful people, very elegant and intimidating, all about dark colors and lines and structure. And this is the clothes that the corporate people like to wear so they can show their power and also their status in society. And finally, neo kitsch, which is the style of the super rich and famous bitches in Night City. It's the upgraded kitsch style with chrome and wool details, very fancy, and they look more to the functional side of the clothing as well. It's not only about the looks. Everything is very fancy. Look at this person over here. They have a boa as a boa. <laughs> I think Juanita's outfit is neo kitsch, although it's not really that over the top as the other example, so I might be wrong and she's just a normal kitsch girl. Either way, kitsch and neo kitsch are my two favorite styles because hello, all that color and bleaky stuff is really triggering my crow's disease. The time of truth. Let's turn this inside out. See the damage. Overstitch. Lining. Then spend the next two hours sewing the lining for the boot plate with this very slippery material just to realize you sewed it inside out and have to start all over again from scratch. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I sew the finished lining to the inside of the collar, right sides facing. Der Hund schläft im Stehen. Guck die Hand. Schläfst im Stehen? I think it worked. I don't think I will ever sew a leather jacket again in my life. What the freak? Finish the edges and I think I'm done. Oh man. The accessories. I bought this thing 100 years ago and it's supposed to help you cut straight leather things. I will try to use it because I never did. Pink is pink. It's not gonna work. It's too thin. <laughs> I cut two very long, four inch wide leather pieces. The front panel. It seems ridiculous, but the thing I'm most excited about is the fact that I got the very same belt clamp. It's just the wrong color. <laughs> It's really the very same one. And that was like, what? But as you can see, I already sewed something wrong. Ha ha ha. I'll install some belt passing thingies on the pants so it will stay in place when I move because it's going everywhere. This part will be sewn to the pants and then I will add a snap here so I can close it like this because I will never be able to have a snug thing with this huge thing coming through. All my snaps fell on the floor! Ah! The ultimate gambiara movement. It's closing at least. We don't see Juanita's shoes on the trailer, so I decided to spray paint my Sofia shoes pink to go with the look. I carefully mask the white strips on the platform and I apply two coats of base color and two coats of pink. It's not the best solution though, as the paint started cracking in some places. For the bra, I bought soft mesh in my skin color, but it never got here, so I have to figure out something else. I think I have some organza stuck here somewhere. I will just use the same pattern for the boot plate, but with some alterations. I hate organza. I hate organza. I hate organza. How can it be so sandpapery and slimy at the same time? There is sort of a casing here now and I will cut this part off as, as close to the seam as I can. This is not what I planned, but I think it will work out. I hate organza. Did I mention that I hate organza? So far, so good. I'm still not very confident about this, but if the soft mesh arrives today, I will be able to redo this because I'm not happy with this organza at all. It looks so wonky. I refuse to accept such work for a mediocre result. I will start again. I don't like it. I think I figured it out. It's amazing. Well, why is it broken? It's just a test, of course, but it's amazing. Let's pray for the best, shall we? Why is it going to the side? And I sewed on top of it. Oh no. Okay, the filament is still intact, so it's fine. But seriously, this thing is not a great curve maker. You know when nothing works? Today is one of those days. I think this will be the way to make curves with this thing. Just loop it over and hope for the best. Ah! Now I broke it. I didn't break it. 
You know what would actually be fun? If I sew everything and when I'm almost done, I break the wire. Wouldn't that be perfect? I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. It works so well in the test and of course it explodes on my face. Ah! Sushi, what will I do? It's all your fault. Because you're so fluffy that I cannot concentrate. Yes. I'm running out of ideas. I don't know what to do. Where is my freaking mesh? Ah! Anyways, thank god I have an extra LED strip upstairs. I bought two by mistake, but it was the best mistake ever. Can't be that hard. I might be overcomplicating stuff again. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. It's a bra from hell. Okay, I think I have a solution. <laughs> well, another Gambiara, of course. This is almost a boob noose. Seriously. Ah, uh, this is so weird. But I don't have another option. My mesh didn't arrive. <laughs> Dark. The news today is that in less than two days, all boyfriends, husbands, and significant others will disappear from the face of Earth. And the weather is getting crazier and crazier here in Night City. You can expect tornadoes, mice, and cat poop falling all over the place. And today also the number of brain dancers that are being attacked by weird people has skyrocketed because now everybody in quarantine nothing better to do than just stay home and pretend you're something else. Is this how a person broadcasts something? I can't be a news person. I don't know how to act as a news person. Die kann die jahreste Glühbirne aller Zeiten, die hat mich fünf Jahre meines Lebens gekostet, glaube ich. Jedes Mal, dass wir das anmachen, sind fünf Jahre weniger. Ja, yes, deswegen machen wir das jetzt aus. Fix everything with high-tech appliances. High-tech appliances. Oh my god! Everything is high-tech in this house. Yep. So sexy. I have my ass outside on YouTube. Yeah. It's funny because I'm naked, but I'm not because of this awful looking tights. Look at this. Look at my crotch. Oh, what is this? And I can't put them in. Not cut up for the fashion life. <laughs>
casually taking your dog for a shit. At least now I will not get ran over by a car because they cannot say they didn't see me. Twerking. I don't know how to be sexy. That's the opportunity for me to get famous. I'm half naked on the internet and I don't know how to do it. I'm enjoying my pantless life now. I think I'm just gonna go outside like this every day from now on. This is the kind of pants I can endorse. Total freedom for the ass. Stop! Stop! This is a fair free channel. I swear this. Ah, stimmt! Ah, stimmt!